Welcome to Meeple Station, and today we're going to be doing a gameplay of Viticulture, and specifically Viticulture the Essential Edition. And so Viticulture is currently ranked number 19 on Board Game Geek. So it is considered to be the 19th best game ever made of all time, up to this date. And so it is the Essential Edition. Uh, the original Viticulture, with its first print run, um, was a very good game, and I think it was still even in the top 100 for the longest time. It's no longer the top 100 since the Essential Edition came out. They, uh, they took the Fish Edition and added some of the expansions that were put out for Viticulture and put some of those expansions even into the Essential Edition and tweaked a little uh, thing here and there uh, for the gameplay. And well, now it is ranked number 19th on Board Game Geek, which is amazing. Well, I want to show you to see if you think this game is amazing as well. See if you are interested enough to even purchase it for yourself. And so with Viticulture, um, I wanted to point out that it's ranked number 19th because what we are doing in Viticulture is we are um, have our own vineyards. And in these vineyards, we um, get to take our vineyards and create wines uh, from our grapes that we harvest from our vineyards. And so it's a very unique theme. It's not, it's not something that I think has been done before. And, and because of that, um, I wanted to point out that this is a very highly ranked game. And, um, okay, well, let's get down to it. Let's get down into the gameplay. So we start off first with our, um, we get Mama, Mama and Papa cards. We start off with Mama Laura which tells us what cards we'll start off with, which is one vine card and two um, uh, orders that we can fulfill, like contracts. So we start off with this vine card, and so if we plant this, as long as we meet the requirements of having the trellis and irrigation system already installed onto our player board, then uh, which we don't yet, um, <clears throat> we'll be able to plant um, this red grape. And every time that we harvest this red grape, we'll be able to um, have a level, f a value for grape right off the bat, and and uh, if we turn that into wine, it'll be a level four wine, as well. So, um, so that's kind of a little bit about the grape cards or the vine cards. Um, if we get those planted and our contracts, if if we f uh, fulfill a contract here, um, as long as we have a level value, a uh, value six red wine. We'll be able to fulfill this contract, get three victory points, and we'll get to increase our residual income um, by one step. And this one is uh, one level three red wine and a level three white wine, and we'll get three victory points and again increase our token on the residual income track. So this is the res residual income track that I'm talking about right now, and so um, whatever... Um, we start off on zero, but whatever level track, hot five is the highest, whatever level you are on on this track, that's how much income you'll get at the end of the round. And a round is, is called a year. We are playing through all four seasons um, of the year. And essentially, most of the time, a game will last around seven, seven or so years or more. And uh, as you can see on this board, we have our board chuck full of worker worker placement spots that we can go to and so this is a very nice pure um, worker placement game and in a two-player game which is what we're playing today uh, we can only use the leftmost um, worker placement spot there are three spots that you can see on every on basically every uh, every one of these worker placement areas like if you want to do build a structure we can only use this leftmost spot and three when you play with three or more players, you get this bonus spot opens up where if you're to go to build a structure, you pay for a structure, build it onto your player mat, and if you want to this bonus space, well, you get a bonus coin to go with that. Which brings us to our Papa card. That lets us know what we start off with, um, how much money we start off with. So I get to start off with six lira, and I, get to, I had the choice between um, having a starting out with the yoke structure on my player mat, and guess what? That's exactly what I did. And its ability, if I have the yoke structure, is I get to uproot one vine if I put a worker there, or I can harvest one field, which is really why I wanted to do that. Kind of rare that you'll uproot a vine off of your field. 
Um, if I didn't choose the uh, the yoke, I could have just gotten one dollar instead. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry, not one dollar, but one lira. And uh, and so player two, the purple, our purple friend here, has Mama Emily and Papa Joel. And so player two start off with one vine card and two summer cards. And uh, so here we have them face up right there. Start off with four lira and a medium sized seller. And when you install these sellers, well, you can you are able to store even more wine and even higher grade wines, even some blush wine. You can make some blush wine, which you have a key right here. If you combine a white grape and a red grape, you can make a nice luscious wine that is blushed. And you can even get up to a large cellar, which you can make sparkling wines even. Okay, and so he chose the medium cellar instead of getting the additional three lira. And as you can see, there's a whole, <laughs> like a whole stack uh, full of different types of starting cards that you can have and the amount of resources. But I want to point out this to you. Does this guy kind of remind you of anyone? Anyone? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so we have <clears throat> a choice to make here. So I did start off with the first player token. That just means I get to choose my wake-up time first. And so wake-up time really determines who's going to go first during the seasons. So as I said before, we're going to be playing through spring, summer, fall, and winter. But summer and winter are the only worker placements, are the only times that we're going to place workers out onto the board. So all these yellow areas is the summer worker placement spots, and all these blue areas are the winter placement spots. And so I'm going to choose, I'm going to go ahead and choose to hmm, wake up at 2. So the sooner you wake up, higher on this track right here, the sooner you wake up, the uh, that determines whoever wakes up the soonest will be able to go first and take those workers' placement spots first. So I'm going to wake up at 2 because I get to gain a vine card for waking up at 2, two o'clock, let's say. <laughs> That's pretty dang early, but um, so I, and then I got to take a vine card. So I got to take a vine card, and I get the Pinot vine, which if I plant it and harvest it, I get a level one red grape and a level one red or uh, level one white grape. But its requirement is I have to have the trellis installed onto my player mat already. So we'll go ahead and put this aside here. Our hand limit is seven, so we discard a seven down to seven at the end of every year or round. <clears throat> Excuse me. And all right, so player two, if he wants to be the first player to go first and choose these worker placement spots, he would have to go in his number one spot and he'll get zero benefit at all. Um, hmm. Well, I think what he's going to do is he's going to go ahead and he can wake up as late as he wants and get the best benefit. Like he could take a contract card and or he could take uh, a lira, he get a bonus coin, or he could take a summer or a winter card. And these summer or winter cards, just to point out, so our purple friend, player number two, started off with two summer cards, as its uh, mama, <laughs> mama ability told us to uh, to hand out to him. So, like for example, he got landscaper, draw one vine card, and plan out to one vine card, or switch two uh, vines on your fields. Or this buyer one, pay two lira and place a white or red grape onto your crush pad. And this is your crush pad in your tracker, which you take crushed grapes to turn into wines. Um, or discard one grape of your choice to gain two lira, and you get to gain a victory point. The first player that gets um, up to 20 victory points triggers the end of the game. And so... That's what summer cards are like, and winter cards kind of apply to more of winter type actions, which we'll get to see here in a second, or in a minute. He's going to wake up at 7, and he's going to gain this temporary worker that he'll get to use this round. So now he has four workers to start off with, and as you can see, one of these workers, so there's like three ordinary workers right there, well one of these is a grande worker, and a grande worker allows you to place on a spot that somebody has already gone to. Essentially what a worker placement game is, 
is once somebody has gone to a spot, you can't go to the spot yourself to take that action. But if you have a grande worker, like in viticulture, then you can. You can, even if that action is already taken up, still take that action as long as you place your grande worker there. Well, okay. Well, enough talking, and let's get into the gameplay. So I have three workers to start off with, two grandes, or sorry, two normal workers and a grande worker. So this uh, normal worker, I'm going to go ahead and take, and let's go ahead and build a structure. We're going to build a structure. And so with that structure, let's go ahead and fulfill the requirement that it takes to plant this uh, vine right here. So let's build our trellis. And as you can see, it is very nicely indicated on our player mat what it takes to build a trellis. Well, it takes two lira. So I'm going to go ahead and spend my two lira. Put it back in the supply. And bada bing, we got our trellis on our player mat. So now this qualifies us to be able to plant this pinot vine. Now it's on to our purple friend. So he has four workers to choose from. And of course we all have some workers off to the side that we could hire later in the game if we wanted to. If we, during the winter phase we could pay four lira to be able to train an extra worker. So that's how we can gain some more workers. Um, so let's see. I think he's going to go ahead and use this landscaper card, his summer card right here, that allows him to draw uh, one, one vine card and plant Plant up to one vine card or switch to, yeah, so we're going to do that one uh, because he can't plant this one yet. He has uh, requirements that he needs to fulfill. He has not built the irrigation or the trellis on his player mat, so he can't plant that one just yet. Well, he's going to go ahead and risk it by playing this summer card. And now, so he gets to play his summer card by going there. So he's going to play his landscaper. And that allows him to draw one of these. Ooh. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so so he gets uh, this grape, this red grape, one red grape, and it has no requirements to be able to plant it. So that is perfect for him. So he drew one plant card, and he gets to plant up to one. Normally, you have to go to this plant section, put a worker there to plant a vine card. Well, because of that summer card, it has that great perk. He gets to plant this for free. And so we have three fields that we have in our player board. And as you can see, it has five, six, or seven. And it even has a Lyra symbol on it. So you can choose if you wanted to. You can go to this worker placement spot during the summer phase to sell one of your fields if you wanted to. So he could take one of his fields and sell it for five, six, or seven Lyra. So let's see. And if you ever sell it, you like turn it over, just like, oh, so I can grab it. You can turn it over and it's sold. And you can always buy back. Uh, go there and buy that field back if you wanted to later in the game. So that's always, that's always a pretty cool option. So he's trying to decide where he wants to plant this. And so with these numbers also um, coordinate with how much, uh, how many grapes your field can hold. So this can only hold up to a value of 5, this can hold up to a value of 6, this can hold up to a value of 7. So this would take up one of the values. So he'll plant it right there. And so now he has filled up one value of grape. So he can still have a, a value of four more grapes in here. Okay, so there we go. So that was his action. So he played a summer card, I built a structure. So now both of those are taken up by us. If either one of us wanted to go there again, we would have to spend our grande workers to go there. These ordinary workers would not cut it. But a very cool aspect of the game, I think. Okay, so I built my structure, I got my trellis. Ah, so now that means I can be able to plant this Pinot vine. Let's do it, let's do it. Uh, the plant spot is still open, so we'll go ahead and put our guy there. And so we planted our pinot vine, where should we put it? Uh, let's go ahead and put it in our seven sector, or sector, uh, seven, seven field area. 
level 7 field area. There we go. Alright. So that was my action. And now I only have one more worker left. And he has, still has three since he took that temporary worker. And what does he want to do? Let's see. He could... Oh, he could... Okay, so let's go ahead and take this, and he's going to go ahead and give a tour. Does he want to do that? He has four coins here to start off with. So he'll go ahead and, yeah, yeah, he'll go ahead and give a tour. So that means, ah, sorry, sorry, I had a brain fart there. So that means, so he put his temporary worker there, which counts as a normal, ordinary worker as if he was his own, but... And he gets to give a tour and gains two lira. So now he has six, which is great for him. So now it's back to me. And you know what I'm going to go ahead and do? I'm going to go ahead and use my yoke just like that. And I get to harvest one field. And I already have a field ready to go. So I get to take um, some of these cool glass markers these are very, very cool, I think. So I got a level one red grape. So I put it, go ahead and put a marker there. Level one and a level one white grape. Excellent. And as you can see here, you could always sell your grapes if you wanted to. So like I could sell one of my grapes for one lira if I put a worker right here on that same spot where you can uh, sell one of your fields or you can sell grapes as well. And you can get to even making all the way up to three lira by selling these higher value grapes. And uh, all right, so we have our grapes going. And so I've spent all my workers. Well, our friend over here still has two more workers that he can use if he wants. What does he want to do? Well, actually, maybe. Yep, he's going to go ahead and pass and use those workers for the winter phase. So that means that it is now fall time, and we have a nice little reference on the side here of the board. And we get to draw one visitor card during the fall time. And so we have either summer visitor cards or winter visitor cards that we can choose from. And those are the contracts or orders that we can fulfill. And these are the vine cards, just so you have a reference there. Um, so I... Hmm. So I get to choose first what I want to what I want to draw. I'm going to go ahead and take a summer card. So I got the architect build a structure at a three dollar discount, or gain one victory point for each four dollar structure you have built. Ooh, well that's pretty nice. I get a three dollar discount when I get when I go here to. Uh, no no no. Uh, whenever I go, uh, sorry. Whenever, if I place a worker right here play, to play a summer card, I can build a structure for a 3 lira discount. Very nice. Or I can choose that other option to get a victory point for every $4, 4 lira structure I have built onto my player mat. Very, very nice. I can't remember if I pointed out already. I'm going to leave these all face up. Technically, these should all be hidden from other players. But I'm playing a two-player game by myself. And I want to show you what everyone has anyway. All right, let's see here, let's see here. So that was, was that my turn? Who's, yeah, yeah, sorry, that was the, that was the fall. <laughs> I got another brain fart, all right. So that was the fall, so I, I chose to choose a summer card, and well, player two already has, still has a summer card, so he's gonna go chat and choose a winter card. This winter card is the Crush Expert card. And if you go here to this area, to play a winter card, what it will do is player two will be able to gain three lira and draw one uh, contract order or make up to three wines. And normally it takes an action to to uh, to build wines. So like for example, if I had enough workers I could go here, but I already use up all my workers so I can't even use them for the winter phase. But let's say I did. Let's say I had a worker, and I made up to two wine tokens. So I placed the worker there. I would be able to take these tokens right here, 
this level one red grape and convert it into a level one wine. And I would be able to take this one as well and take that uh, white grape to turn it into a level one white wine. Well, as you can see, only two wine tokens. Well, this one, you can create up to three if you have that many grapes on your crush pad already. Very, very cool. Very useful. All right, so now let's think here. So that was the that was the fall phase. He drew a winter card. I drew a summer card. And still has two more two more workers that he can use. Let's go ahead and does he want to harvest right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to go ahead and harvest. So he'll go ahead and harvest. And so harvest, harvest, harvest. Well, he gets to choose one field to harvest from. So he gets a level one grape, red grape, onto his crush pad. And then his second worker, which is his grande worker, if he had like another field that had some other vines on it, he could go ahead and harvest it again with this, but he does not. And you can only harvest one field once per year. That's why he can't do it again either. Um, let's see. Well, he could draw a contract. Or he could play this card right here to draw, to draw a contract anyway and get three lira. Does he want to use that? Or... Mm, hmm... Actually, you know what he's going to do? He's going to go ahead and pay, pay four lira to train a worker. So that he has to pay the lira first. Show me the lira. And he does. Pays that to the bank. Or I would, I would think actually to the worker. <laughs> and so now he gets to use this. He just hired another worker to be able to use next year. Well, that's all of our workers. I didn't even get to use any workers in the winter time, which is fine. And he got to use a couple during the winter time. And so that concludes the year. So now at the year end, we get to age our grapes and wine tokens and retrieve our workers, then collect residual payments if we had any on this track. And then we discard down to seven cards, which we don't have to do that, and then rotate first player clockwise. Alrighty. So let's first age our grapes. So I have age this one one step, age that one one step. So now I have a level two red grape and a level two white grape. Ooh, so that means I am very close to getting to, uh, uh, to be able to fulfill this contract here, this order. Once it ages another time, which will be next year, I will have a level three and a level three uh, white, red and white grape. And then I just need to make it into wine. And this contract is good as fulfilled as long as I can put a worker in the fill a contract spot. All right, well, let's take our workers back. So I will take this one and this one. And oh, my grande worker is already over here. Put these back into the available workers section. And now he gets his hired worker. So now he has four workers that he gets to use. Three regulars and a grande. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, let's not forget to age his grapes as well. Even though they're our opponent, we still have to follow the rules, I guess. <clears throat> and then this temporary worker goes back to the waking up um, section right there, which is technically spring, the spring section. So now the first player token that gets passed to purple. Okie doke. When does purple want to wake up? Hmm, let's think. Well, he does not have any contracts yet. <clears throat> any orders? As you can see, his hand only has a winter and a summer card and a, <coughs> excuse me, and a vine card. So he's going to go ahead and place this one here. Do you want to get a contract? What's he going to get? Alright, so he needs to fulfill this contract order. 
he needs to be able to turn in a level for white wine and a level for blush wine. Now if you remember, to be able to make a blush wine, you have to combine a white grape and a red grape when doing the wine action. So, for example, if I were to make a wine, I could take this level 2 and level 2 grapes, combine them together to make a blush, and 2 plus 2 is 4, so this would be a level 4 blush. If I did that, if I wanted to do that. Okay, so that's his contract, and once he completes it, he'll be able to get 4 victory points and go up one step on the residual um, income track right there. And then I, hmm, Wonk, well, for right, well, let's see, for right now, I'm kind of happy with the vine cards I do have. Got that one there, and I got this one here, already planted. Let's go ahead and take this, and we'll go ahead and grab that temporary worker. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so that means that purple gets to go first because of that wake up check. Let's see here, let's see here. What does he want to do? What does he want to do? What does he want to do? He'll go ahead and take this and. Oh man. So you could play this card here. Pay $2 to place a grape on your crush pad or discard one grape to gain two victory points and or sorry, to gain two lira and one victory point. Let's put them up onto the victory point track. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Ah, you know what he's going to do? He's going to go ahead and draw some vines. So this is his. So he gets this one. He gets a... Um, a level 1 uh, white grape. And it has no requirements, so he can plant that, as long as I don't take the plant section. Yeah, I don't think I am. Hmm, but what do I want to do? Should I have to go ahead and take advantage of this architect? I could go to this play, uh, play a summer card section to be able to build a structure at a three lira discount. Hmm. I, right now I have one, two, three, four. And if I did that, three lira discount, three lira discount. Ooh, you know what? Yep, let's go ahead and do that. Just a, had a light bulb moment. Let's use our worker right here and play this card. We are going to use our architect, so we'll discard that. Get a three lira discount. And now, I am going to go ahead and choose to build my irrigation. And as you can see here, it's indicated that it is three lira to build my irrigation. So now I can fulfill the requirements to build and go, or not build, but plant um, this four value grape, red grapes, which is very, very nice. Alrighty, and purple is now their turn. It's gonna spend a worker to go out and plant. And I'm like, oh shucks, I just barely made the requirement to build this. But I think it should work out just fine. So he's gonna go ahead and plant um, this white grape right here in this section as well. Alright. And now it's back to my turn. Still have three workers and a grande worker. I'm going to put my grande worker to work. Well, the, technically this is all taken up. It's occupied. So I'm going to be able to use a regular worker on there. I can use my grande worker to be able to plant something as well. And that something is going to be this four value red grape. There we go. Alrighty, so we got that going, and now it's back to uh, player two's 
player two's turn. And what am I going to do? Or what's he going to do, I should say. Or she. Let's see, let's see. I still have a grande worker that we could use for him. If he wants to take another action over here. Mm. Ah, he's going to go ahead and pass. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and pass. And I think I too as well am going to pass. So now we get to do fall. So we get to choose a visitor card. Well, player two is woke up earlier, so he gets to choose which one he wants first. Um, he's going to go ahead and choose... Um, is he going to choose a summer card maybe? Yeah, he'll go ahead and choose a summer card. So he gets the stone mason. So he gets the, if he pays 8 lira to build any, t pay 8 lira to build any two structures, and you get to ignore their regular costs. Yeah, there are some that are expensive, like this tasting room. Um, it costs 6 lira, but when you build it, you, whenever you go to the vineyard tour, whenever you give a vineyard tour and have at least one wine in your cellar, then you get uh, a victory point every every time you do that. Only once per year, though. So once you give a tour, you'll gain a victory point if you have this tasting room um, in there. So that could be uh, pretty valuable for him when he wants to build some structures. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose... Uh, yeah, I was going to choose a winter card for myself. I got the Governor's Winter Card Visitor. Pay 3 lira and train one worker that you may use this year or discard uh, one wine to gain two victory points. Hmm. Very cool. I like, I like you that. So I have two workers and he has two workers. Well, he gets to go first since he woke up earlier. That waking up system lasts the whole entire year. And he's going to go ahead and go and... All right, so this is what he's going to do. He's going to go ahead and harvest. Right. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and harvest. So he gets uh, one white wine, or not wine, but grape. That goes over here. And a level one red grape. Grab a token. And there. So now we have some grapes collecting up here. All right, and what he's going to do, he has a grande worker left, but it's back to my turn, actually. So I have two workers left, and, hmm, ooh, so I'll go ahead and let's, let's use this card that we just got. Let's use this governess um, one. So we're going to go to play a winter card, put our worker there. And let's take advantage of this governess, pay three lira, and we get to train a worker that can be used this very year. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's make sure we have the money and the funds. Yep, we do. So we'll pay three. And we get to hire another worker. Get to use this year even, which normally you can't do that when you go here. You can't use that worker that you just hired for until the following year. And we got it at a 1 lira discount because it costs 4 lira to be able to train a worker on that action space. Back to our friend over here. And well, he saved his grande worker. Thankfully, he has this grande worker still. And he can go right here to play his. Ooh, if I can grab the card. Uh oh, there we go. Uh, the crush expert. And he's gonna, he can either gain 3 lira and draw one contract or make up to three wines. He's going to make up to three wines. That's what he's going to do. He likes that. Well, he has three grapes right here. And you know what he's going to do? He's going to take, he's going to make a blush wine. He already has this medium cellar built because of his papa card, remember? So he started off with the medium cellar. So he likes that. So that means he can make a blush wine. So he's going to go ahead and combine 
this level 2 uh, red grape and this level 1 white grape to make a level 3 because 2 plus 1 is 3. Oh wait, no, 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 he can't. Ooh, there is no level 3. Hmm. So he can't yet. Darn. Well, that foils his plans a little bit. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, he's going to save those. He's What he's going to end up doing, actually, is he's just going to go ahead and take three Lyra and grab another contract. That's what he'll do. Because he's actually even running low on money. He only has two Lyra bucks left. So that's one, two, and three. And he gets to draw another contract, which is... He needs to complete this contract order. He needs a level... Uh, valued 8 red wine, which will give him 4 victory points and increase his residual income. Ooh, okay. Is that all our workers? That's all his workers. I still have two workers left. How about that? Let's go for... Let's go for... Let's go ahead and harvest one field. Right? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and harvest one field. So I don't have my medium solid built yet. We'll probably want to build that next round if we can. So, so we harvest one field, so we get a level well, technically we would get a level five red red grape to put into here, but since we don't have since we can only go up to three since we don't have a medium seller built yet, it'll just come out as it gets devalued to a level 3 since that's all we can handle right now. But we still get a level 1 white grape. Okay, well at least we get still get to uh, build up our collection of grapes right there. And let's go ahead and... Oh, wait. Yep, 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 he has animal workers, so I comes back to me, and we're going to go ahead and make two wine tokens. So we're going to go ahead and take this level two white grape, make it into a level two white wine, and this level three red grape into a level three red wine. Fantastic. So that is that. All right, so that concludes this round. And so now we get to age our grapes, if we can, if our sellers allow it. And so he gets to age this one, and this one, and that one. And so now he'll be able to make a blush wine this upcoming turn. And then we get to age this grape, and this grape, and this wine. But not this wine, because we don't have the medium seller yet, so we can't age it to a level 4 yet. So now, this upcoming year, this next year, I'll be able to finally put a worker here to fill a contract, and I will get onto the scoreboard. I think both of us are pretty close to getting onto the scoreboard, so I'll be able to, um, once I fulfill this, I'd get rid of these two tokens to be able to fulfill this contract, get three victory points, and finally get onto that residual income track right there. And then uh, our friend over here is very close to making a blush wine, um, he'll be able to combine, combine, when he makes wine, he'll be able to combine this level 3 red grape and this level 2 white grape into a level 5 blush wine. And so that will, be, that will be enough to be able to fulfill this contract. You just need to at least have a level 4 or higher and a level 4 um, white wine or higher to be able to fulfill these con that contract there. And as you can see, um, it doesn't take, usually it doesn't take, it takes about until around like the, four, like the fourth or fifth round or year of play. Sorry, I don't know why I pointed there. I guess just because there's numbers. Anyway, it usually takes until the fourth or fifth or sixth round where the game really starts picking up. You have uh, lots of vines on your fields and uh, you just have, are able to pump out these grapes. And once you get that cellar, you're able to really hold up to um, got these other sellers, you can hold up to higher level uh, wines even. 
And so it is very satisfying to, to build up this little uh, engine of grapes and stuff like that and to be able to uh, transform those grapes into wines. And, um, and so and all the, the actions are very beautifully done along with the cards for summer and winter. And, well, I don't want to take up any more of you guys' time because I think that gives you guys a very good idea of what it is like to play Viticulture, the essential edition. And so please do join me in my final thoughts video. So click on through, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys there.